cocktail lime patio tree. Now, if you're my friend on Facebook, Sandra Bennett QVC, you might this might look familiar to you because some months ago I posted a picture of my lemons. And it, this was really so much fun this year because I didn't think living in Pennsylvania, <laughs> suburban Philadelphia, I could grow a lemon or a lime, and I grew both, and mm -hmm. you can too. Three easy payments of $19.92 with free shipping and candling. Already 150 have been ordered. We haven't even talked about it yet, and this is our final, our first quantities of the season. When it's gone, it's gone. Also, just a little shout out to the QVC price. On Roberta's website, this is $65.73. So we're saving you about $10 getting it here. Plus on easy pay, you get it home for $19.92 with free shipping and handling. Okay, so I'm here with Devin. It's so cool. Look at this plant, isn't it incredible? Yeah. Now mine the first year did not get this big, but it first year I got it, I had limes and lemons. Yeah, well, you know, this plant, We've had it for a couple of years yeah. now, and it is always so popular. Our most popular fruiting plant because it doesn't matter where you live in the country. You can live in Seattle, you can live in Connecticut, Philadelphia. You can grow your very own citrus well, plant. Hey, can I tell you? Yeah. So every time um, we had friends over multiple times throughout the summer, and if we did any entertaining on our deck, immediately someone said, how'd you get a lime tree? How'd you get a uh -huh. lemon tree? Like people were amazed by it. It's pretty sweet. It, well, so the thing is, it doesn't matter where you live in the country, you can live anywhere, and you keep it outside in the summertime. Yeah, and um, that's an extraordinarily big lemon. Yeah, well, yeah, this is a Meyer lemon, actually. It's a cross between a lemon and an orange. They are so juicy, so sweet, they have thinner skin than any other citrus that I've ever seen, and because they're crossed with an orange, they're oftentimes really big, like this. You know, I just cut this off the tree. Look at how much juice this is. From this one half of a lemon, there's probably more juice than, you know, you get a whole bag of lemons at the store yeah. would have less juice than this one half. That's why we love this. And the thing about the plant is, you keep it outside in the summertime and it produces beautiful, fragrant flowers. And then you bring it indoors in the wintertime and it's inside your own home that it will produce both the Meyer lemons and the cocktail limes in the same pot yeah. because you're getting both plants in one pot. Yeah, so here's what's gonna happen in the summer and I can speak from experience. You're going to have, starting in the summer, there's gonna be these like little green fruit. And for me, I wasn't sure, did I grow, are those gonna be a lime or a lemon because yeah. they were starting out small. Even the lemons are gonna start out, when they start growing, they're gonna be green. And then it's, for me, it was so fun to see which one's gonna be which. I know, it <laughs> is so really fun. Cool. They all start out green and actually key limes, when they're fully ripened, they will start Start yeah. to turn yellow. Yeah. Now here, what I ha here is is one of the plants that you'll receive at home. You see, this is already fr uh, has these beautiful flowers on it. So just take a whiff of these flowers. Oh, that smells. That smells actually incredible. Yeah, you smell you heard of orange blossom, obviously. Oh, it's right? so nice. Yeah. Orange blossom. Everyone loves orange blossom. What about Meyer lemon blossom? Cocktail lime blossom is probably even better. It's just way more rare. Yeah. But the thing about this plant, you see, it's three years old so that you get it at home this is going to start to produce fruit for you either the end of the first or second season most likely you'll start having fruit come winter time inside your home because these plants grow so quickly and you see in this pot alone there's two individual plants so you're getting two plants in one pot you see that both trunks in there now the thing that we love about the Meyer lemons is that they are a cross between a lemon and, uh, and an, an orange. orange. Yeah. And so they are so juicy, yeah. so full of flavor. They well, don't... I'm gonna tell you, as someone who buys Meyer lemons, yeah. they're not cheap. They're not. Four, you know, you get a little bag with four Meyer lemons in it. It, it can be really pricey. You're yeah. getting your entire tree, three easy payments of $19.92, free shipping and handling. But you know what you can't buy at the grocery store? The feeling of growing your own, the wow that you have when people come over and say, is that a lemon tree? I know. Like, that's what you can't buy at the in grocery Indiana, store. In Indiana? Yeah, you yeah. have a lemon tree in, in Indiana. In suburban Philadelphia? Right. Chicago, you can have a lemon 
and lime plant that no, produces have, fruit inside I your have, home? I have this fantastic next door neighbor, Amarita, and boy, she has a green thumb. In fact, the funny thing is, a lot of her plants when we first moved there that my husband loved the best, I told I told your uncle this, um, they were from you guys. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, cool. she had the beautiful plants and they were from you guys. But anyway, uh, she always outdoes us. She has the most beautiful. She came over one day on our deck and she's like, how are you growing lemons? I, I know. must know. I know. There you go. That's how. Yeah, if you were to find a lemon plant mm -hmm. at the store, you, you wouldn't be able to find a Meyer lemon. Trust me on that one. You wouldn't be able to find a plant that has a Meyer lemon and a cocktail lime all in the same pot. Now, if you were to find a lemon though, it would have, uh, it would take about three to four years before you got any fruit. We've done the waiting for you. By, way, by growing these plants for the last three years so that your plants will produce fruit for you inside your home mm -hmm. starting the first season. Yeah, and I will tell you, so I haven't had mine a year yet. Mine is much larger than this and not quite as large as this. So you do get yeah. a lot of growth. You do, and the thing about it, if you're thinking, oh wow, this plant's so big, what can I do with it? Don't worry about that. The size of the pot determines the size of your plant. So if you have a small urban garden, like I do, I have got a small little patio, I gotta have to keep it in a small pot, and that's fine. Oh, you know it's what, still I own this plant, I don't think I realized that. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, it's still I'm gonna produce a ton of show. fruit. I just learned something else about my plant. Well, my, my thing is kind of spilling a little bit, but here I made some Meyer lemonade for you. Oh wait, oh, can I actually drink you. that? That's for you, it's Meyer lemon juice and ice. Oh, you make a nice lemonade. Not bad, huh? This is pretty. I like these Roberta shows. You never know what kind of treat you're gonna get. Yeah. So I just wanna. It's I, really nice. I wanna show you these beautiful. Here is a key lime, that is ready to go. The key limes. Mm -hmm. You're also getting the key limes. Let me just. Oh, there we go. These guys, when they're actually fully ripened, they start to turn yellow. That's when they're fully ripe. Now this little, this this little lime. I just want to show you how much juice this little lime has. This is called the bar's choice because it's so, you see, that's a, that's a lot of juice from, from, this, from this little half. And you're going to be getting so many of these on your plants. Okay, so how many of you just thought, like you're sitting at home, didn't you just immediately think key lime pie? You're carrying the yeah. key lime, you immediately think key lime pie. Mm -hmm. And you know when you try and make key lime pie, you got to go buy that juice for it to maybe the concentrate. It tastes terrible. It's not, it's not real key lime. You can grow your own key lime. You can grow your own Meyer lemons, and you can do it if you live in Maine. You can do it if you live in San Diego. You Anyone in the country. Anywhere. It doesn't matter where Kansas you City, live. City, grow a Meyer lemon in blood. And key the lime. reason is because these these grow outside in the summertime, and then you bring them indoors in the winter time. Now we used to have this in my house growing up. We used to have a Meyer lemon plant, and all winter long, my mother she would just go to the plant. She'd take a Meyer lemon put some juice in her water in the morning, and it yeah. was like the nice, fresh way to wake up in the cold uh, winter mornings. That is so cool. Because they produce the fruit inside your home in well, the winter. And you know the other thing, too, we're talking a lot about the fruit, but I, fruit, but I have to say, it's a beautiful plant. Like, the it's leaves gorgeous. are so yeah, pretty. Look at it. These glossy, pretty leaves. Even when you first get it home, it's just a lovely, lovely plant to have. And that's going to ship when? It's going to... When do we ship that one? Um, do we know? I, I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay, so that's going to ship to you in May. Oh, there it goes, May 8th. There, there it is. Go. So that's Perfect. going to ship in May 8th. We will not charge you until it ships. Well, thanks, Devin. Now, tell me yeah, a little bit about this warranty. We have our Roberta's Gotta Grow guarantee always. When you're happy, so are we. So we're going to.